Did you know that chlorpheniramine, a popular OTC antihistamine, has been easing allergy symptoms for over 70 years without needing a prescription? Hello, I'm David from the Pharmacy Corner. I'm here to break down health topics in a clear, simple way with key facts and practical tips. Let's get started. Today, we're talking about chlorpheniramine maleate 4 mg OTC, a common antihistamine that helps with allergy relief. If you're dealing with seasonal allergies or a pesky cold, you might have seen this on pharmacy shelves. It's designed to block histamine, the chemical your body releases during allergic reactions, helping you feel more comfortable. First-generation antihistamines are older medications that effectively relieve symptoms but have a tendency to make you sleepy. Before we dive in, remember, this video is for educational purposes only, not medical advice or diagnosis. Always consult your healthcare provider before making health decisions. So, what exactly is chlorpheniramine used for? It's great for relieving those annoying symptoms that come with allergies, hay fever, or even the common cold. Think sneezing, runny nose, itchy and watery eyes, or an itchy nose and throat. Whether it's pollen in the spring or dust at home, this OTC antihistamine can provide temporary relief, making your days a bit easier. According to Medline Plus from the National Institutes of Health, chlorpheniramine is used to relieve red, itchy, watery eyes, sneezing, itchy nose or throat, and runny nose caused by allergies, hay fever, and the common cold. Wondering how to take chlorpheniramine safely? Always follow the dosing instructions on the package or consult your pharmacist to ensure it's right for you. The amount and timing depend on factors like your age and health, so checking the label is key to avoiding side effects. Now, like any medication, chlorpheniramine can have some side effects, though not everyone experiences them. The most common one is drowsiness, which is why it's often found in nighttime formulas. To prevent impairment during the day, they are most effective when administered at night. You might feel a bit sleepy or less alert, especially when you first start taking it. Other possible side effects include dry mouth, which can make you thirsty, nausea or an upset stomach, headache, or even constipation. These are usually mild and go away as your body adjusts. If they bother you a lot, chat with your pharmacist or doctor about ways to manage them, like staying hydrated for that dry mouth. As noted in stat pearls from the National Library of Medicine, antihistamines like chlorpheniramine generally cause dose-dependent adverse effects such as sedation, dizziness, and dry mouth. When it comes to precautions, it's important to use chlorpheniramine wisely to avoid any issues. First off, because it can make you drowsy, be cautious if you're driving, operating machinery, or doing anything that requires full attention. Avoid mixing it with alcohol or other sedatives, as that can amplify the sleepiness. If you have certain health conditions, like glaucoma, an enlarged prostate, high blood pressure, asthma, or thyroid problems, talk to your healthcare provider before starting it, they might suggest adjustments or alternatives. It's also not recommended for young children without guidance, and if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, get professional advice first. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration prescribing information, chlorpheniramine may lead to additive adverse effects like dry mouth or blurred vision when used with other medications. There you have it, a straightforward look at chlorpheniramine maleate 4 mg OTC, covering its uses for allergy symptoms, how to take it safely, common side effects like drowsiness, and key precautions for safe use. Knowledge is power when it comes to your health, so use this info to make informed choices. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Corner, David here. If this helped you understand your health, please subscribe for more clear tips. What health topic would you like next? Stay well.